conversation, find out what you agree on. You can say something like, um, we both value a clean house, we both want a clean house. Um, I'm wondering if we can talk about the dishes. That would be an example. Number two, um, admit your mistakes. Um, something like, uh, I understand it's my responsibility to do the dishes and I've neglected the, that for the last two days and I just wanna you know, acknowledge that and, and, um, and own up to it. Number three, um, let your spouse do the majority of talking or, or your other party do the majority of talking. Many times people just need to vent or be heard without interruption. And don't interrupt regardless of how long somebody talks or vents because that frustrates the other party. And once you bring frustration into the conversation, you're, you're not gonna get the outcome you want. And four, and it kind of goes, uh, kind of ties into number two, um, admit when you're wrong. Nothing, uh, loses respect or a conversation quicker than when both parties know somebody's wrong and they're just not admitting it. So those are the four tips for this week. I will give you a bonus though. If you could get the other party to um, believe that the idea came from them, it's a perfect win. Example, let's use the dish scenario again. Um, saying something like, uh, man, on Wednesdays I get home so late I just wish I had the energy to do these dishes because I hate the fact that they sit in the sink all night long. Well, then your spouse might say something like, you know what, on Wednesdays I can do the dishes. How about if I do the dishes on Wednesdays? There, now they believe that idea came from them. It's a perfect win.